The Hawaiian Islands contain a vast array of native ecosystems, from rugged mountain ridgelines and rainforests to dryland forests and coastal dunes. Oahu and the rest of the Hawaiian Island chain is the most isolated archipelago in the world. It is home to species of plants and animals found nowhere else on Earth, many of which are now on the U.S. endangered species list. Hawaii has the unfortunate distinction of being the endangered species capital of, of the nation. We have approximately 30% of the federally listed endangered species within the United States. Thus, we have 100 endangered species that we work with at Oahu Army Training Areas alone. To balance the Army's training mission with the Endangered Species Act requirements, the U.S. Army works to protect and conserve endangered Hawaiian species found on its land here on Oahu. Well, Hawaii is known uh, as a biodiversity hotspot and in uh, our local plants, the native plants of Hawaii, uh, nine out of ten of them are not found anywhere else in the world. So it has, we have a very unique set of native plants in Hawaii. And most of them are found in very small, isolated populations. Uh, the plants we have here are collected from the wild with uh, either taking cuttings or collecting seeds. And they come in here and we grow them up into small plants and then transport them out into protected areas and restore our uh, wild populations. Another way the Army protects Oahu's endangered plants is through seed storage in a state-of-the-art seed conservation laboratory. As one of only four seed storage facilities in the state, the seed lab serves as a critical safety net if endangered plants die in the wild or are overcome by threats such as fire. Invasive weeds wreak havoc on fragile Hawaiian ecosystems. Weeds outcompete native plants for nutrients, sunlight, and water. Non-native grasses can become fuel for wildfires. The natural resources staff, together with volunteers, spend more than 5,000 hours a year controlling weeds in native forests. Native plants make up the background matrix, the home in which all of our rare species live. When that habitat is changed, and when invasive plants invade, then the ecosystem and all the interactions change in, in a variety of ways that we don't fully understand. But we do know that replacing a keystone native species like Ohia with an invader like strawberry guava does not necessarily create a habitat that will allow native forest and rare species to survive, um, which is why we do a lot of weed control. Uh, weed control is like triage. Our first priority is to protect the habitat around those rare species. A large part of conserving Oahu's endangered species involves controlling non-native species that threaten them. Pigs and goats were brought to the islands from overseas. Their growing populations damage native forests by uprooting and eating vulnerable native plants and spreading the seeds of invasive weeds. The Army's Oahu Natural Resources Program builds fences around areas with native forests to keep these animals out. The pigs are really good at moving weeds in, you know. They'll go and they'll eat guava somewhere and they'll come into this area and they'll dig it all up, you know, kill all the natives, and then they'll leave guava behind. And so you want to you fence it and take the pigs out before you really start uh, weed control on a large scale. The Army's Oahu Natural Resources Program specializes in building fences in remote areas and difficult terrain. Over 10,000 acres on Oahu are now protected from these non-native threats, thanks to the Army's efforts. Rats are another primary threat to native species in Hawaii. They eat endangered snails and the eggs and chicks of native birds. They also feed on the seeds of endangered plants. The Army's Oahu Natural Resources Program performs rodent control in all of its management units. Rodent control is essential in providing protection for the endangered species that we manage. We use a lot of different traps, but some just like the ones that you have in your house, but we use thousands of them over a large area to protect these species. We have shown through our management to increase the endangered species that we protect. Other unexpected predators are pushing Hawaiian animals to the edge of extinction. The Jackson's chameleon and the rosy wolf snail both prey on native snails, including the endangered Oahu tree snails, members of the Akatinella genus, commonly known as kahuli. Tree snails in, in Hawaii are, are really special because they 
uh, scientists believe that over a period of a couple of million years, uh, maybe there were uh, approximately a dozen introductions of snails, and the way snails got here was probably on the, the bodies of birds. They found themselves in a very different environment from where they came from, and they evolved into over a thousand different species. Protecting species like the Kahuli tree snail includes building remote exclosures, specially designed to keep out predators. The fence height, smooth surface, and distance from nearby vegetation keep rats and Jackson's chameleons out of the exclosure. Additional barriers prevent the carnivorous rosy wolf snail from entering. Staff regularly check to ensure that Kahuli predators cannot breach the various barriers. Of the many birds that made it to the Hawaiian archipelago over several million years, the elipayo is the only member of the flycatcher family. The Oahu elipayo is an endangered species with its main threats being habitat loss, avian disease, and invasive species such as rats. One way we monitor the elopio is by banding. We put small color bands on the legs of the birds and this helps us distinguish individuals from one another. It also helps us track their survival and their movements over time. The effort to protect some of the rarest species left on the planet requires a diverse team of biologists with extensive training and knowledge. Staff work as a cohesive team and are respected as some of the leading experts in the state. Managing Hawaii's endangered species also requires a passion for conserving the precious flora and fauna that make Hawaii unlike any other place in the world, a passion shared by the members of the Army's Oahu Natural Resources Program. Well, I think in general you don't work in conservation in Hawaii unless you love it. It draws you in, it's drawn me in, you know, and I'm just motivated pretty much my whole life is committed to trying to do good conservation and trying to make sure that we preserve as much as we can. Then hopefully my children and my children's children will also be able to go up into the mountains and see plants and animals that are millions of years old and uniquely Hawaiian.